Hey folks, it's Jess, and today I'm doing a part two to the truth or dare that you guys seem to like last time. I've got my amazing little sister Lucy, and she's going to be reading out the truths and the dares. Start with all the truths, okay? If you suddenly woke up as a boy, what would the first, be the first thing you do? Well, I would scream. I would be very shocked as to why I'm suddenly a boy. And then, assuming I'm the only one in the whole world who switched genders, I would go downstairs and freak out my family. Like, notice anything different about me? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> the world is ending. What would you do? It depends. Is this like a zombie apocalypse scenario or like a natural disaster scenario? Anyone. Okay, if it's a zombie apocalypse, I would get a whole big group of people I know, go to like a remote area, stack up on like food and everything, resources, and try to live it out away from like a lot of people as in like a big city. If it's a natural disaster and there's no way I can prevent it, I'm just going to completely have the best time of my life, blow all my money, go to theme parks, go on holiday, basically have the time of my life. Uh, are you a Trump supporter? Am I a Trump supporter? Okay, do I like people having orange skin? Do I like racism? No, I am not a Trump supporter. Thank you much, everyone. You have to suddenly run away from home and you can only take five things with you. Keeping in mind, they have to fit in a small backpack. What would you take? <sighs> okay, so this is an intense question. Number one, I would take a phone so I can actually communicate with people. I would take as much food as I can possibly carry in my backpack. Two changes of clothes. A box of like ibuprofen or pa paracetamol pills so I can actually try to, you know, survive. And also a big bottle of water because there might not be like a public bubbler. There probably will be, but I want like a place, something to carry with it. Okay, so now we're moving on to the dares. Okay. Say the first thing that comes into your mind with an accent. Oh, uh, the accent? Oh, you want me to do an accent? Okay, I'll do an accent for you. Well, um, the banana walked into the supermarket and he was about to buy a bunch of bananas, but then his wife said, no, you cannot buy bananas, that is cannibalism. So he bought a pair of underpants instead. Um, try a... Uh, advertise a dirty sock. Here for your newest design is the dirty sock. It is complete with its own hole and it has the most amazing scent in the universe. If you want this dirty sock, don't worry. It's very cheap. It's only $139.95. You can buy it online or in store. Shop now at www.dirtysocks.com.au. Eat a pickle off your nose with your tongue. Oh, uh, I don't like pickles at the best of times, but it's probably going to taste really bad. Okay, so here is a pickle. Not gonna have to do it. I can't do this. Well, now we have to eat it. Now it's on the floor. Now we have to eat it. Okay, that was a fail. Mm. I don't have water. Yeah, you Can I spit it out? It's over there. It's oh, okay, I didn't like that. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it was still pretty horrible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Eat a spoonful of hot chilies in this. Oh, I can't even stand like the mildest thing and it says hot there. Okay, so I've got like this chocolate chili sauce, but I've tried a tiny bit before and it's really, really spicy. And I'm not exaggerating guys, I have like no spice tolerance. Also, it's um it's probably half frozen because it's been in the fridge, so I'm just gonna use the Okay, this is like as much as I can get on. I'll probably have some more after this. It tastes like chocolate. Okay, now the chili's hit me. Yeah. <coughs> 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 oh my god, it's still burning. <sighs> okay. Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh, that was. Uh, I can still feel it. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, watching me suffer for you. And this is what I do for you guys. And also, thanks to my sister for reading out for the truths and dares. See you guys next time.